Hey there, so today we have another review and we're doing more pizza reviews. So yesterday we did great value pizza. Frozen pizza reviews. Frozen pizza reviews, yes. We're not doing proper pizza. Pizza down here is generally pretty terrible, so uh, what's the point? We're, we're doing uh, frozen pizza. So, um, great value was the one we reviewed yesterday and we're doing now Sam's Choice, which is actually uh, Walmart's sort of quote-unquote premium brand. So there's like, you know, premium brands of like public stuff or whatever. Uh, that's what we have down here in Walmart, so um, check it out. I I think this, yeah, this is a couple bucks more than the um, great value one. But this is Supreme, but they like, we're gonna try it out. So. Did we have Supreme last night, yeah? Yes, we yeah. tried the other Supreme from, so th it's actually pretty interesting. The same Walmart, uh, you know, brands doing, and actually this one, these are differently well done. So what, you, you, you take first choice. I don't really care, uh, I mean it's pizza, I'll take this one. I prefer generally more, little, slightly more well done. So I'm gonna try out this one. Um, same with last pizza, the olives are very sparing. Yeah. I think this, this one, one has like three more olives than the other one though. So one, two, three and a half, four, five, six, seven. There's one hiding under there. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, actually, this one has a little bit more olives. Yeah, I was joking. So I don't know if that's on purpose, but they might have more olives on this one. But. I think the crust on the bottom is a little bit, it's a little bit darker. Darker for sure. Wait, yours is darker too? Wow, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. The other one was pale white. Yeah. I think the toppings look relatively the same though, same quality. I don't, I don't I I'm the, not expecting I think the olives. olives maybe look a little bit better. I don't know, quite sure, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, they look the same. Uh -huh. hmm. Hmm. First thing I notice that it's not as thin and crackery. So there might be more oil or butter or whatever they use into, into the crust. Maybe. I also noticed that did you add Parmesan or did this mm. have Parmesan? Okay. Mm. It basically tastes like the same pizza to me, but with Parmesan. Sorry, excuse me. Our preparation in this video is terrible. I know. Well, we don't always need like napkins and stuff. Yeah. But, um, hmm. but the, the color you can see, clearly there's more color on that crust. Um, I don't think that's more cooking, just like the fact that the crust can take it. But yeah, for sure there's more like Parmesan or something on there. Yeah, I yeah. imagine it's Parmesan. Yeah, Parmesan and Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sauce is about the same quality. It's not quite as metallic -y though, I don't think. The thin crust is similar to the thin crust. I feel just this cooked a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think it's actually the fact you can actually get color on this one versus the last one we couldn't. The veggies, do they taste better? No. No, same veggies, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't think that these are really that different. I think they just slapped a different label on it. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe threw a few more olives on it, a few more peppers. Hmm. Um, I think it has like maybe a few more toppings, but overall, I would say it's right around the same quality for the same or for a completely different price, like two dollar, two dollar difference. What's your front pressure rating on this one? I mean, I think I went with C, C, C minus last night. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick around the same. I'll say like C. We'll say C. It's a little C. bit better because it has a little yeah. bit more toppings, I guess. But I'm not, yeah. Not dramatically. Cool. I'm going to argue that this is way better. I'd say it's way, be uh, way worth the $2 uh, cost. The crust just tastes better. It, it doesn't taste like saltines. This actually like doesn't have that kind of pale, bland color, uh, flavor to it. For sure there's more pepperonis, unless I'm crazy. I feel like there's way more pepperonis on this one. No, there's definitely more topping, mm -hmm. but it's the same quality topping. Well, then they add like more Parmesan or Romano or mm -hmm. added Parmesan or Romano. I don't remember the last one. I'll take that. But the dough's slightly better and you get more toppings. I don't know, is it worth the $2? <laughs> you know, like three to $5, like, I don't know. I think it's whatever the price difference is. I think it's um decently better product. I think I gave 72 to the last one. I feel like this is a little closer to the Screaming Joe's, a Screaming Sicilian than, or no, not really. Just, I was going to say, no, yeah. you, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Know. You must All be right. really, really hungry. You must be really hungry tonight. Yeah. Um, fine. Let's go with a 70, that one's 72, this one's 76. 76. Okay. This is not bad. Honestly, for a frozen pizza, thin crust, um, toppings are fine, uh, crust doesn't really excite you. But um, it's not much uh, topping either. So lacking in olives, hugely lacking in the pepper and onion. Mm -hmm. You know, has a lot of pepperoni, a little bit of sausage. 
She's not bad. A little bit of cheese, not barely any sauce, crust is meh, so, you know, if you're in Walmart for, you know, good price, like, not bad. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.